Welcome back to the New Equity Network show. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you live on 1160 KBCE, DFW's Business Authority, the Wall Street Business Network. All right, this segment we've got Dr. Bassam Jamad, uh, PhD, President and CEO of Innovius Pharmaceuticals, symbol on this company, INNV. Dr. Uh, Damaj, excuse me, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for having me, Michael. Appreciate to be here. My pleasure. All right, let's get a little background on you first. You've got 20 years in uh, this industry, within the pharmaceutical industry, and then I'd really like to get into what Innovius Pharmaceutical does, but you came here for a specific purpose to talk about uh, a, a new product, and we can we can drop right into that if you don't mind. Sure, no problem. So, um, you know, I've been in this sort of for, for a pretty long time. Um, I'm an immunologist by training, followed by an oncology fellowship. Um, started my career in, in, in large pharma from Genentech to, to Pfizer, um, you know, moved to an um, international company like Mitsubishi, Tanabe, uh, Japan, uh, and continued in this um, uh, industry until, um, you know, um, became CEO of Africa's Biosciences on NASDAQ. Uh, then followed by Innovus Pharmaceuticals. So I've been in this field for quite a bit. Um, public markets um, did um, several products approved on the markets, multiple markets around the world, uh, multiple deals signed, uh, uh, M and A's, and so forth. So, um, so really, I'm, I'm bringing this, this expertise that I have now to to Innovus and uh, and to move Innovus to, to the next step. Okay, that's that's quite a skill set that you bring to the table. What does in Innovius Pharma do? So Innovius Pharma is a small uh, company based in San Diego. The company focuses on over-the-counter and consumer care products in three major therapeutic areas, the women's health, men's health, and respiratory diseases. Uh, the company actually is uh, moved to the commercial stage in 2013 with six products on, on multiple markets and uh, was able to do over a million in, in, in revenues. And uh, we continue to push on that, uh, gearing uh, hopefully towards uh, three million um, this year in, in revenues. Um, the way the company grows really is, is a very simple business model. We acquire or in license high value revenue generating assets. And we have a network of partners in about 30 countries uh, that we are able to put our products through this network and get extensive worldwide distribution in a very short period of time. How many vendors do you have? Uh, this is a, a very good question. We actually have quite a bit of vendors. In, in the U.S., you know, we, we actually are very extensively in, in most of the retail stores, mm-hmm. um, uh, Walmart being the, um, the largest retailer for our current products. And for the Fluidicare products, that we're going to discuss um, in detail today, actually. Uh, we recently announced that uh, we just uh, established uh, as a vendor of record close to 36,000 stores in the United States. So, so quite a bit of, of, of retail uh, that's just ready to, to push this product forward as soon as the, uh, hopefully the FDA gives us the, the green light to market it. What does Fluticare do? So Fluticare is a nasal product um, that is for allergic uh, rhinitis. So um, just to give you a little bit of history, on, on February 5th, uh, 2015 of this year, we acquired a company called Novalair. And, and Novalair, this acquisition gave us the right to the worldwide rights of a product called Fluidicare. This is the over-the-counter uh, Fluidicare. So, so this is a... Um, Fluticazone propionate, which is mainly the main competitor of Flonase from GSK, and uh, and it is really um, the uh, the, pro- the fluticazone propionate is approved for the indication of allergic rhinitis in adults and children. Um, the FDA did the switch from a prescription uh, to OTC earlier this year. Uh, and we actually acquired the rights of the over-the-counter form of, of this product that is currently doing about $300 million in revenue. So this is a pretty large product in a very large market estimated to be about a billion uh, dollars in, in the U.S. Uh, alone. Uh, and the ANDA for the over-the-counter form of this product has been filed. So we expect an action by the FDA in the first quarter of 2016. And hopefully, if, if we get the approval for that, 
we would expect to be on the market in the second quarter of, of 2016. Okay, that's a pretty rapid rapid move. What is the difference between Fluticare and the other products on the market? What what makes it different, and why would people want to buy it more often? So Fluticare, so the the Flonase is the original product that was developed by GSK, right? Uh, and then the Fluticare uh, form, which really contains the same active active um, uh, ingredient, is actually a different delivery. To the uh, to the nose, which uh, um, alleviates some of the irritation that takes place with um, uh, Flonase. So, so Fluticare, because of its delivery mechanism, now um, it contains really the the the, the nasal steroid active that is physician uh, recommended and consumer prepared. It is now the number one form used by physicians and patients. It's the number one nasal steroid uh, active prescribed by physicians. It is familiar to patients. It's more comfortable of a known and trusted medicine. It is now Fluticare form is ingrained in patients' allergy management. It is effective. It is safe. So this is why if you look at the market since 2007, there has been over 179 million units of fluticasone uh, propionate that were prescribed or dispensed uh, to, to patients. From those, over 177 million units of the Fluticare product form is the one dispensed versus only 2 million of Flonase. So obviously, the, the Fluticare uh, form is the most trusted and used form by patients, and this is the form that once if we get approval by the FDA for the OTC version, which we expect in Q1 2016, we would be really hitting the ground very fast and, and, and being able to, um, to capture a big chunk, hopefully, of, of this market. It sounds like, you know, from the numbers you just gave me, that you're actually going to end up dominating this, this sector of the uh, pharma market. I mean, we're going to be a major player in this market, um, definitely with, uh, with, with Fluticare. Um, we're already growing very fast. Um, and and the, the nice thing about the, um, the plan we have is that we've already established the vendors of records that we discussed, close to 36,000 stores, mm -hmm. being Walgreens, Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, Kroger, Target, and then also we extended that to the second tier of the retailers, the Safeways, the Super Values, the Giant Eagles, the, the, the HEB, the Windexes, the a hold and all the wholesale uh, drug distributors like the Amerisource Bergen, McKesson, the Cardinals. So we really have prepared the ground for to really, once the product is, 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 is approved uh, by the FDA, that we can hit the ground running towards fulfilling our um, um, the, um, the, the shelf space that we have and really uh, uh, go into our plan to try to dominate um, uh, this, this market. We, we've put an extensive, uh, nice marketing plan where, you know, we will be targeting the 20% the of the top prescribers of the uh, uh, fluticasone propionate uh, in the U.S., uh, which will really put us in the in the hands of a big, big percentage of those physicians who already prescribe this product to their patients, and now they're going to have it available as an over-the-counter, but also our online program, which allows them to have a membership with us. They will, they can actually subscribe to to this program and have the product shipped to their homes actually every certain few months. To, to fulfill their needs. So no longer they will be, have to go to the pharmacy, have to go and get a prescription. The product will be delivered to their homes, you know, every certain uh, few months. Wow. Okay. So that's that's a new delivery method from, from normally just going to the store. It's going to be OTC. Let's take a break and go on the other side of this. Let's talk about the bottom line, how this affects the shareholders uh, with the revenue stream, that this new revenue stream that will be coming into the company. Okay. Very good. All right, we'll be right back on the other side of this break with Dr. Bassam 
Imaj, Ph.D. President and CEO of Innovius Pharmaceuticals, symbol I-N-N-V. You've been listening to Michael Yorba on the New Equity Network show, broadcast on 1160 AM, DFW's Business Authority. We'll be right back. 